Hello friends, welcome back to lmsle.com. In today's video, we will see how you can reset the password for any user by using the Moodle database. So as you can see, now I have a development site running on my local host server and I forgot the uh, credentials for the admin user here. And now I will recover my admin user account by going to the database and uh, updating the password directly in the Moodle database. So first of all, for this Moodle website, we need to check the database name and the credentials. So I will request you to navigate to your config.php file. If you are not aware about the config.php file, then it has to be in the root directory where your Moodle is installed. So let me show you the config.php file for this uh, directory. So here all the Moodle files are located and here I have this config.php file. And when I will go to this file, I can see that my database name is Moodle 43D for this specific development environment. So now let me go to the PHP my admin and show you how you can reset the password for any user here. Now you can see that I am on the uh, PHP my admin page of my uh, local development environment and here I have this database which is named as Moodle 43D so which is the one which is being used by Moodle for this specific. Now let me go to this database and here you can see all the tables within the Moodle uh, installation are mentioned on the left. In this table, we need to figure out a table named as MDL underscore user. Kindly note that this MDL is the prefix which is defined while installing the Moodle. So it might be different for your case, but the main important part is the underscore and afterwards that part. So you need to find out a table named as MDL underscore user or equivalent for your Moodle site. Now these are alphabetically ordered. So let me go to the last page and i think here it is so we have got our mdl underscore user table now this table includes all the user accounts and their details so here you can see that i have uh, two user accounts on this moodle site and if you scroll to the right you can see that uh, these are the username and first name and last name and details and that's it so now i will just reset the password for this user which is having the admin and the user as the first name and last name now in order to do that you need to just scroll to the left again and then click on this edit button here now here you need to just scroll down a bit uh, where you will see this password section and here we have the encrypted password as of now which is not readable by any form so now you have to reset this password to a new password so let me uh, change this specific field to md5 here we will choose md5 this is called as a function and now instead of everything else i will delete this and mention my new password here that's it just go to the bottom of the page and then click go So now we see this message that the one row is affected. So basically it means that our user password has been reset to the new password which we just mentioned in the plain English language. Now I will go back to my Moodle site and try it once. I will show you for this demonstration that I have mentioned my password as the field here. And let me try login so as you can see this is how we can log into moodle by resetting our admin password through database thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel and i will really appreciate you for that thank you very much for watching